Hello YouTube, uh, my name is Matt Jackson. I am making this uh, little video today on uh, the the Focusrite iTrack Solo. I'm using it with my laptop, just a PC laptop, and I'm running it through Ableton Live. I'm going to be addressing three issues, three problems that I've had since I got this, um, and then hopefully you'll be able to... Um, you know, maybe learn something if you're having the same issues I was. I'm not going to lie, I have this terrible canker sore on my tongue that's inhibiting me to talk. It hurts really, really bad right now. Um, but uh, no matter, I will uh, try my best uh, to make this video for you. Um, if you're wondering, I'm recording this on my Sterling ST55 condenser microphone. It's what I use to record my guitars. Um, but it was uh, the last thing I was using, so um, it was all plugged in anyways um, so I don't wouldn't normally record this microphone but whatever so the first thing here um, I'll address is I made this uh, drum beat uh, right here and a problem I was having was when I brought it into the multi-track view no matter where I placed it it would play the beat no matter what um, and then uh, all you need to do is simply unclick this button for some reason that's just gonna loop it non-stop throughout the song click that button you can see in here as well I have the track right here um, and that will make it so that when you do click and drag into multi-track and place it wherever the, that drum beat will only play in that particular spot um, okay thing number two was I was having a clicking going on kind of like a second snapping my fingers when I recorded I'd play back and it would skip kind of like this um, and my playback and it was really annoying uh, the way to fix that is you just go into options, go down to preferences, um, and then go into audio right here. As you can see, I have the line in, line out. So I track solo. Um, come down. Uh, you can actually push this for a test tone. It'll it'll play um, an A440, I believe. That was a guess. I don't know, um, but it plays just a steady note, and then. Um, you can kind of hear when it does that. There's going to be the clicking in there as well. You just come to buffer size. Your buffer size, um, the output level is up too high. Don't worry too much about the input level, but the output level, um, if it's clicking, it's because the output level is too high. You're going to want to bring that down. Um, I like to make it sit somewhere around uh, 5,000 samples. That should do it. If you go too short, it'll start crackling like crazy. Um, up too high, it'll start doing that snapping. So um, sit it in the middle, and you should be fine. Um, thing number three, which was the most frustrating to me, was I was having this obnoxious crackling noise while I was playing uh, my playback or what, whatever I was doing. I plug my focus, uh, the focus, focus right eye track solo into my computer, and then when I'd go into iTunes to play a song, it was just this incredibly annoying crackling popping sound that was just destroying everything and I had to keep going over my other interfaces which was sad because I liked the the eye track but it just wasn't working so um, I used to I just had to use my other um, uh, like the uh, M audio I don't even know what this is uh, the fast track duo anyways so I started using that it's not what I prefer but um, the way that you get rid of that crackling sound, which is probably why most of you are watching this video in the first place, it's actually um, a ridiculous way to, to get rid of it. But um, all I had to do was plug my laptop in um, to the power supply, um, actually, because when I do not have my laptop plugged in, the iTrack Solo makes everything go incredibly crackly and obnoxious because there's not enough power to run the Focusrite iTrack Solo especially when it's in phantom power mode um, so you know if you're using it with an iPad that that probably has enough power to charge or to run the the eye track with it um, if you're using a laptop this this took me a long time to figure this out I was actually reading a couple um, reviews online that uh, that explained um, you know how to how to solve these problems one of the things was they're trying to run too many things off their computer and didn't have enough power so I just simply plug plug my laptop into the wall and then the crackling stopped once it ha once the ad track had enough power in there so um, that should work those are the three things how to make this um, loop um, play just where it's it's you know where I tell it to play and not be playing um, constantly I just click that little uh, play button right there um, the popping noise that that happens at regular occurrences you just go into options preferences um, and then make sure your output buffer size is sitting somewhere in the middle not too low not too high 
um, and then make sure that when running the focus right your laptop is always plugged into the wall and you shouldn't have any problems there so um, if you have any questions I do use um, Ableton Live to record and I do really like it um, if you have any more questions about the focus right or Ableton Live go ahead and put them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible um, I apologize for the way I'm, I've been talking throughout the t tutorial um, my mouth really, really hurts right now from that canker sore, but hopefully I got that figured out pretty soon. But um, anyways, yeah, love to hear from you. Take care and uh, good luck.